All right, I just got done pruning my tomato plants down and I almost got everything. I didn't get it 100%, I'll fine tune it. I'll fine tune it as I go along. There's a bunch of leaves still gotta come off. There's still some tops I think I'm gonna cut down. I'll, I'll see that once I you know, look at it a little bit more. I may want to prune these down. But in general, if you want to try to revive your tomato plants, like you see here, I left that. I got to go around and finish them up. There's a lot to take out of here. It's all blight. This was all blight damage. I mean, I had heat damage. That didn't help it. But the blight definitely is what wiped out, wiped them out completely. First time in a long time for me with the early blight. Usually late blight gets it, but the early blight... Bang, it was, it, I've seen it already as early as June. It was basically when I started the plants. They were growing, 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 growing. And then I sprayed it. All right. I used, uh, I used a product called Serenade. And Serenade literally spread the disease through the entire aspect of it. Almost instantly. The next day, everything was covered in spots from the Serenade. So, I would tell you to stay as far away from serenade as possible it is a living biological bacteria that's supposed to fight blight and instead it just it it, it put the blight on rocket fuel and it just literally uh, probably a lot of the plot probably a lot of the, the blossom end rot and all that other stuff may have been directly related to the, the serenade so Stay away from that stuff. That's my experience. I have a whole bucket of it I, I bought. I paid a lot of money for it, too. I never use that stuff again. I sprayed it, then the next day, the whole thing was covered. Well, not next day, but like day, two days later, the whole thing got spots almost halfway up the plant. And all I did was spray the bottom area of the plant where I thought I seen some blight spots. I probably should have just went through with a pair of scissors and cut it out. Nope, I used this serenade, and that absolutely devastated my my tomatoes i think i believe almost 100 percent that has it in there already so i don't know i don't know what to say maybe it came up on its own uh, it all i know is i seen a couple of spots i sprayed it with that and then that serenade just that was it that was pretty much i barely got anything out of it normally these tomato plants uh just what i have up here on my deck these amount of tomato plants would have uh, probably filled maybe Two wheelbarrows full of tomatoes, probably from that size to about two pounds. I didn't get nothing this year, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, some of you guys would be like, oh, you're complaining, you got tomatoes, what are you complaining about? Trust me, I, this, is, this is absolutely embarrassing, but I'm going to show you the results of everything, whether you know I get a good harvest or what I consider embarrassing, and this is, to me, is embarrassing. This is absolutely disgusting. But that's the results of using stuff that you don't really know too much about. Some websites and YouTube channels suggest using Serenade. I used it, and this is the result. I'll never do it again. But there is a good chance I can bring these back to life. As you can see, I pruned them heavily, almost down to nothing. I'm going to leave them like this for a little bit. Like, like here, see, I got tomatoes on here still, and I'm kind of like don't want to pick them off. I know that I really should strip these down. They're probably not going to ripen. They're probably like just going to see how these are all falling off the top of the... They're, they're done. They're, I, I should just take them off. I just got nowhere to put them. I'll be honest with you. And they're, and they're coming, and they're kind of damaged, so I don't really want to refrigerate them. I'm just... I can't put them out for sale. Uh, all I'm going to do is just try to get the seeds from them, I guess, and just dis discard the rest of it. And I'm going to soak the seeds in hydrogen peroxide uh, to make sure I don't perpetuate this problem. It's very possible the seeds may have had this on there. I don't know. I'm not going to blame the seed company. I'm just saying. It started off with like one or two plants. I sprayed them, and it's just everything got it now. Yeah, between the heat, the blight, and everything else, this is a result. So I am going to attempt to try and revive these plants. Now, what I want to show you is some of these plants are probably not going to make it. I am probably not going to be able to revive them. As you can see here, the blight is now become systemic in the plant. It's spread like a cancer. It's within the 
lymph system if you want to call it that it's within the lymph system of the plant it's on the stem when you see that it's pretty much game over if you can get if you can get all the blight off the plant before it gets to the stem you'll probably be all right but i waited too long and it's pretty much curtains for these but we're going to attempt it anyway i'm making this video just as a documentation of it if it does come back and it starts bouncing back and I don't see too much more blight coming on or if I'm able to save some of them anyway I will post this video I'm probably not gonna post this video and waste my time uploading this video if it's a fail so there's no point in trying to show you how to do it if it's a complete fail and it's just not gonna be it's not worth my time uploading this video like this one here this one right here could make it. There's nothing on the main stem. There's a very good chance if you look very closely at the stem. You see that glistening on there? Yes, it is. That's the tomato tar. But the ones that have the spots on the stem already, they're pretty much going to be a goner. I'm probably going to let and see if they make some type of comeback. If not, they're going to have to just get pulled out of the pots. And I'm going to plant some new tomatoes. Or I'm going to sucker some tomatoes. It's not worth suckering these tomatoes because of the disease. disease the disease will just perpetuate. We will not make any progress. Uh, you need to do your suckering and everything before the disease infects it. So you can get healthy suckers. If you get it while it's diseased, then it's going to have the same problem. It's going to be the same result. But yeah, just take a real close look at the stem. Alright, just want you to get a real good look at that. You can see that glistening on there. That is the tomato tar. And as every gardener knows, you can probably see it all over my hands. This is not going to come off very easily. Soap will make it worse. It's on my camera now. That's just a good sign of a healthy plant. Now these plants could live for a while, even with the systemic disease being systemic the way it is. They could live for a while or they could die right away, but no, nevertheless, it will eventually die of this cancer that it has, and there is really nothing you can do about it at this point. Here's some, here's a good, good shot right there of that tomato tar. If I could get you zoomed in. I can't tell if you're focused or not. I don't even know why there's a lens, uh, a, a screen on here for me to view. Because I can't see it no matter what I do, you know. It's, I, I might as well just do it without it. They used to have an eyepiece that you'd put your eye up to the camera. And you can see it, you know. Now I can't see anything. But yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick look at... Uh, you know what I did to prune it and I'm probably gonna prune it again if I do I'll make a quick update I might do a pruning video in the greenhouse that's got to get done it's just a disaster you really shouldn't have to go through all that extra trouble but I don't know the diseases up here are so prolific you you're lucky you can grow anything up here it's a battle day to day it's a battle trying to grow a garden up in Pennsylvania that's one of the reasons why I'm moving out of Pennsylvania so, anyways, hope you learned something from that. Any questions, just leave a comment below. I'll do my best to answer it. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.